Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and this is Cosplay Girl Budgets. Today on my channel we are doing my tax refund cash stuffing, which I'm very, very excited about. I am so grateful that I got a tax return back because it's going to help me out so much with my trips this year. That's what I decided to put my tax money towards. Normally I would put it towards savings or debt, but I have a lot of trips coming up this year and I needed to get ahead of them. So that's what I decided to do. So we have here $968 in cash and then I have some prop money over here which is about $692 and this money I'll kind of go over as we stuff them in the binders. But Thank you so much for joining me today and let's get started. We're going to kind of start off with some important stuff. So originally I was going to put all of my money into my adventure binder, but then I realized that my car's brake started to feel a little rough. So I decided that I'm going to put $200 into my car maintenance and if I can find it, where is it? Um, oh, here we are. So I'm gonna put $200 into car maintenance. And I'm not sure how much my brakes are gonna be, but I figured this would be a good head start. Um, and we do have some cash in here. So we have 51, 52, and 205. I gotta make that appointment soon because the longer you wait, the more maintenance you have to do. Hopefully I don't have to do the rotors, rotors too because that just gets too expensive. So that's it for this binder. Next comes up the fun stuff. So I am trying to fund a lot of these so I don't have to worry about them during the year. First up is girls trip. And this is the one that's coming up really soon. It's in May, so I really want to get this completed. So what I did here is I did put $200 in the bank, and it's been slowly paying for my um, hotel trip. So hotel was about 392 and I put already $200. I charged this on my credit card. So that's just my portion of it, of the thing. There's about six of us staying in there, and um, we decided to pay for the bride, so that's why it's a little bit on the pricier side. Um, so I already did that, and I need 192. So that's where the prop money, some of this prop money is for, so 100, 150, 70, 91, and 2. So 192 is already paid towards my. Uh, credit card so that's the hotel there and then I'm also putting in two hundred and three dollars in here and this should complete my goal I wanted to save six hundred dollars for this trip so let's put this in here. I wrote this little goal here on my sushi little notepad thing. Uh, so 600 is what I wanted. So this would be 600. 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, 550, 570, 590, 595, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 600. So perfect. So this is all completed and I'm very, very happy that this tax refund came more than I thought that I was going to get. So I'm very grateful. So that's all finished and I can breathe a sigh of relief now when I go up there to Salem. Next up is my state trip and I know I keep going back and forth on whether I'm going to Colorado or uh, North Carolina and right now the trip like the flight and everything would just be too expensive for me right now so I have decided to go to North Carolina instead 
I'm gonna check out Charlotte and then also visit some of my cousins. So in order to complete my $500 goal, I have to put in $345 in cash. Okay. Alrighty, so this should be 500 now. 1, 52, 53, 54, 420, 440, 460, 480, 90, oh my gosh, 95, and 500. They just stuck together. So there we go. 500 here, yay. And that should be plenty enough to go. I'm still debating if I want to drive down there or if I want to fly. The, the flights are very cheap. So I might just end up flying down there. So that's it for my state trip and that's fully funded. Yay. Uh, next up, we are actually going to skip occasions because I still have time to save for that. Um, but it currently has 20, 30, and 35. And the goal is 500. Honestly, if I get 300 by October, I'll be happy. Um, hopefully the hotel expenses won't be so bad, but that's mainly what this is for, is for my uh, best friend's wedding to cover like hair and all that stuff and hotel. It's upstate, so hopefully it'll be a little bit cheaper. Um, so vacation, I did put $500 towards this and I actually paid um, for the ticket. So I am going to put this $500 placeholder in here and we are going to color in um, $500. So that ticket was $496 but I kept the $4. I just put it in my savings because I didn't see the point of taking it out and then there really isn't singles in my vacation challenge so I just decided to keep it in there and represent it with $500 because the ticket was going to be $4.96 and this ticket is to attend the <laughs> to attend it so I still have to save up for the plane ticket so let's color in some boxes I hope that makes sense I know sometimes I can get confused myself with uh, my words but so that's 100. I figured I'd color the 50s because those are the big ones. Two. So 51, 52, 53. My pink marker is dying. I guess for just to put my brain at ease and <laughs> not do so much math, I'm just going to color in these guys. So that's 500. So. One, two, three, four, fifty, and five hundred. So that's what it's looking like right now. So yay, all the fifties are done, which is definitely the higher ones. Um, very, very excited about that. So now in vacation, we have five hundred, five twenty, five forty, and five fifty. So we're trucking along on this. The total goal is. To $1,260. So that's good. Alright, so originally I was going to put like the remainder in here to just fund my spa trip, but um, I'm not going to be doing this anytime soon, so I figured I'd just bring this up to. to 100 because I have 80 here so I'm just going to color or I'm just going to check off enough to put for another 20 so I could just make this 100 um, so each one is 5 so 5, 10, 15 and 20 Yeah, I kind of want to do this sometime, like, I really wanted to do it for my birthday, but I just don't know if I'll be able to, I don't know, I keep going back and forth with 
fully funding this, I guess. I kind of just want to have more fun with savings challenges. And I guess if I do some savings challenges and finish them, they can go towards this. Um, so right now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. I kind of like struggle with that because I'm like, oh, I could like fully fund this. But I also want to have fun with some of my savings challenges because my paychecks have been really tight lately. So I haven't been able to put money towards savings challenges. And once those are complete, they do go into sinking funds like these or my other sinking funds. So I kind of want to try and finish some of those today. So this should be 200 here because originally I was supposed to put 220 into my um into my spa trip but let's see i will count this just to make sure i didn't mess up so we have 20 40 60 81 20 30 40 50 65 75 85 90 and 1 9 2 9 3 9 4 9 5 9 6 9 7 9 8 9 9 1 200 <laughs> 100 200 all right cool i did not mess anything up so let's have some fun i do apologize if you hear banging and booming my neighbors are very active this morning apparently i try to film in the morning so that way i can get more quietness for you guys but sometimes it just does not work out so first off we're going to go into this binder because i did owe myself 12 dollars from this cute savings challenge that Kayla over at KTW Planning and Budgeting sent from me for Valentine's Day and I had scratched off 8 and a roll of D12 and of course I got 11. That was a very high rolling day. Um, so I'm going to put in the $12 that I owe it which is right here. That way we can get the IOU out of the way. So now we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So perfect, $19 here. And I think since we're on this one, let's start with it. And then we will, oh, and then we will probably go into this one because yeah, it's a mystery and it would be fun to finish this one, but we shall see. So let's go ahead and scratch off one of these. This has been so fun so far. And also let me get my dice. I always forget them. Let's do this. We got our dice here. And we got our coin. Let's do this one. I'm gonna just try to do one of each. Okay, one dollar. Actually, maybe we could do, I know I just said I can do just one of each. Maybe I should Okay, I'm not going to get crazy because I feel like that bites everybody in the butt when they're like, yeah, I'll do one more. So this one is a $1 and also roll a D4. So it could be a total of $5 if I roll a 4. So let's see what I get. We got 2 on the dice. So that's a total of $3 added. Okay, so I'm just gonna try and spread the love around and then we'll come back to other ones. So now in total for this Valentine's Day scratch off we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Sweet. So $22 in here. And that's a fun way to start off. Alright. I'm just gonna do it like that. Alrighty. Let's go in to this little scratch and roll saving book. I want to try and do two. This one I want to do two, at least. Well, it depends on if I get another like roll of d20, then I'm like, um, <laughs> okay. So we got another one. Ones are in our favors today. And we're also rolling a d12 according to this over here. So the D12 is here. Let's see. Oops. All right. So rolled high. We got a 12. So that's going to be 13. 
We got the max saving out of that one. So let's put that there and let's let's do one more. I would love to complete this one, but I do want to go around to other ones. Okay, so we have $2 and then also we have roll a d6, which is our normal dice. And we got 3. So that's a total of 5. Okay. So we're adding $17 into here for now. Okay, so now in total we have 50, seven, uh, wow, 50, 65, 70, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wow, $75 already. Uh, the total savings for this is 54, just regular, and then whatever you get on the dice. So far the dice have been, uh, I guess, in my favor to save more. <laughs> so that's awesome. So we may come back to this one depending on how much we have. Oops. So I'll put this to the side for now. Sweet. Let me close this up because we're not going to need it for a little bit. Okay. Let's just go down the line here. Okay, let's do some coloring. We have my Sailor Mars Challenge. This is a digital on my shop, and my Etsy shop is always linked down below. So let's do let's do two of these bows here, and that'll be a total of thirty dollars because each one is fifteen. The total for this one is 130 so I would love to finish this one because that's a good chunk of money. <laughs> 30, 40, 50, 5, 60. So that's pretty good. We only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 left. So that's great. Okay, so for this one, my Cloud Card Savings Challenge, you can also find this in my Etsy as well. Let's do, I want to complete these two rows, so we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, so another $30. Oh. Let's see if we can make change here, I'd like to have, oh no, okay, that's fine. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, and 75 in here, which is great. That's it for that one. My other cloud card savings challenge, and this is the Sakura version. Um, I'm going to do just this row here, and we'll do 15, 5, 10, 15. So 5, 10, 15. I think I want to get some change. Maybe I'll switch a 20 in here. So now in this savings challenge, we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32. So let's do 10, 15, 20, and let's put a 20 in here. That way we have some more 10. All right, so we did this one. That was our Galentine scratch off. Let's do this one here by Spooky Budgets. This is the Showtime uh, savings challenge, but it's like Beetlejuice themed, so let's try and do two. So we have three dollars here and two, so five dollars. That's great. And we have two more rows. I would love to finish this one. I think this adds up to 50, but I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember at the moment. So let's put in five. So now it has 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Ah, it kind of feels nice to be able to do all my savings challenges. This is very rare. Unfortunately, nowadays I have just so much to pay now. My rent's like crazy expensive, so I don't get to do this like I used to. Let's do let's do 15 in in my tattoo challenge. I have one already in mind. I really want to get like a koi fish on my forearm. It's 
really cute. It's just like a pink and white uh, koi fish, and then it has a black moon. So I just kind of reminiscent of a little bit of like Japanese culture and Sailor Moon, and it just looks really pretty. And the way maybe I'll find the picture and show you on uh, on the screen, but it's. There's two koi fish and they're set up like yin and yang and me and my cousin want to get it because we are kind of like yin and yang um, and we're super close so it's like a best friend's tattoo at the same time. So let's put in 15 here and now we have 20, 35, 36, 37, 38. So that's coming along nicely. Still got that scary 50 <laughs> to color in. That's gonna be a big boy. Okay, let's do our box challenge because we don't get to do that very often. So let's keep on. Actually, you know what? I feel like doing a mystery one. If we're not gonna do one, might as well try and do a mystery envelope. Well, good thing I decided to do this with a lot of money because <laughs> we got a 16. Whoa, <laughs> that's a hefty one. All right, let me make some change for this 20. Okay, cool, so I made some change here. And let's do the 16. Perfect, so there we go. And let's color in with pink. We'll do one of the mystery envelopes. Oh man, wow. That was a uh, not expecting it to be that big, but I'm happy that I had the money for it. So there we go. One envelope done in our mystery 15 box, which makes me so happy. Yay, and this is by Mel from Mystic Budgets. And anyone is linked down below that I use their stuff. If not, you're welcome to ask me, but I try to be diligent about putting everything in the description. Next up is my birthday challenge. And this one is a digital from Abby Tries to Budget. And we are gonna just do one more 20 over here. I finally decided what I'm gonna do for my birthday. There's this like themed uh, Studio Ghibli place in Georgia and it's like an Airbnb and it just looks so beautiful. Um, it's by this company called Fable Realms. I believe that's how you say it. Um, and yeah, so I, I booked it for August. They didn't unfortunately have anything in May. So that does def definitely give me a little bit more time to save up for it, but I'm so excited. So that's what I'm gonna do with my birthday this year. So we have $40 now in our Taurus Savings Challenge. And then next up is our Future Fund, which let me grab that scratch off. And this is by Janelle Ray Budgets. And we are going to scratch off one today. <sighs> okay, and we got a five. So that's what we'll do for today. Go. So now we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Uh, hold on. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay. Yes. So you have $24 in future. And I didn't watch any Studio Ghibli movies lately, so I'm not going to be able to do my challenge for Support Small, but that's okay. Um, let's see how much we have left. And we'll go straight to the top of the board again. So we have 10, 20, 5, 30, 31, 32. Okay, I, we, we did a pretty, pretty decent uh, chunk of money into all of my challenges, which is very exciting. So we will go back into my little scratch and roll uh, and save book. And let's see if we can 
do some more damage on this. Okay, so good thing uh, I decided to start with this. <laughs> we got another D10 and roll a D20. The last time you all know <laughs> when I did this, it gave me a 19 and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I don't think I could stuff that. So I did add the numbers together. We'll see how it goes this time. So right off the bat, we are saving 10 and let's see how much the dice will be in favor or not. <laughs> okay, we got 14. That's, that's scary, but not that bad considering we have the money this time. So we will put in, okay, so we'll put in the 15 and I'm pretty sure I have a one in here. Okay, so <laughs> I just will do one today. I'm a, I had that put a little bit of fear in me. <laughs> I was like, uh, oh gosh, another 10 with a D20. But this has been so much fun so far. So now we have 50, 60, 70, 85, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Oh my gosh, we almost have $100. What? Oh my gosh, I gotta recount that. Oh my gosh, $99. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm speechless. This is awesome. Definitely just the first one has been saving me so much. Oh, this makes me so excited. I haven't decided what I wanted to do with the money, um, but I guess I should decide soon since we only have three more left. And this year I want to try and complete half of these here. Maybe I should put this towards debt. I don't know. Well, I'm not going to make any decisions right now. And we'll go back into my binder here. And let's see what else we can do. I kind of want to go back to my Beetlejuice scratch off and see if we can do one or two more. All right, so we have eight, maybe not. Maybe we just do one. So five, six, seven, Eight. Oh my gosh, perfect. No IOUs today. That makes me so happy. All right. Wow, that was perfect. So now in our Beetlejuice It's Showtime Savings Challenge, we have 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Sweet. So I think this one does save me 50 but that's awesome. So we only have five more left. So pumped. Yay. So that's it for my cash stuffing today. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me. I know this is probably going to be a little bit of a longer one, but sometimes I enjoy the long ones. So I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for uh, being here with me today. And I just want to say thank you so much to all my supporters out there who always comment down below, like my videos. I really, really appreciate it and it just keeps me motivated to keep going. So thank you so much and if you made it to the end of this video, let's do, let's do a star emoji or any color heart emoji. Thank you so much for watching to the end and with that, have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!